What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. I just have a feeling this is going to go really badly. We're going to do it. Fuck it. I need to move on. I need to get some better mechs, and I'm not getting them right now. <coughs> All right. Weldry, one of the most notorious hell holes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life, and for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Ice Box. The big piece of the story happens here. I already know what it is, but for those that are watching this for the first time and don't, I'm not going to give it away. The image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with Torian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding family, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinosa's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. <coughs> We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free, not just for political gain, but because they're our people. And we need your help to do it. Aren't the founding fund and they're supposed to be powerless? Figure it I need to know what I'm about to send my lance into, what makes well do some possibility. You've got, uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Everything from the sub zero climate to the inedible vegetation, the whole planet is infested with blood sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. I'm afraid not. They're called Branson's Mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They, swir they serve as carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there? On purpose? <laughs> the army will be safe. Population centers like the Icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay. But I thank you for your concern, Mr. Vertanen. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads? There are different kinds of power, Spider. The founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle has hardline supporters everywhere. Their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition, but the remaining members of the founding council will rally their people against the directorate if given the chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. All right, you've got an army. What do you need us for? Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox, and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. In my experience, operations this scale rarely go according to plan. I know, Spider, and that is one of the major reasons why I need you on this drop. You adapted to the chaos of the battlefield on Cormadir. I'll be counting on you to do the same here. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Spider. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned. After the Directorate presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup and celebrate our victory. That's right. Fuck it. Swerve. Swerve. That's what you said, right? And then you died gloriously and had to restart gloriously. <laughs> All right, we're going to take the fire starter out, put the commando back in since he's got more firepower. And we're going to put Miss Sarah back into her scooter, her uh, her commando, I'm sorry, her scooter. <laughs> <coughs> and we're going to see if everybody dies. I need to play a little bit smarter here on... Uh, just rushing in. Get myself in good position to utilize my LRMs better. <clears throat> we're definitely going to have some mediums at some point in this. It's two skulls, so I'm pretty sure we're going to have mediums. So, fight your way to the Icebox prison camp, destroy all Directorate forces, liberate the Icebox from Directorate control. <coughs> the liberation of Weldry, we will get a shit ton of money. <coughs> and we'll get some nice salvage if we're able to leg cap or head cap a couple of these medium mechs. We can get some really nice 
medium pieces. <coughs> Enough to hopefully build another medium medium mech. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement re between the two checkpoints. That's right. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil. As predicted, Lady Urano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison standard garrison away. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen. Nothing that you can't handle. <laughs> so you think. Clear away the opposition to capture the prison. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. All right, so <clears throat> we got some shit here. We got to take out some turret generators. Take those out first, and that gets all these turret bays out. Copy that, Commander. Position confirmed. <coughs> you to tell me twice. Yeah, this mission is definitely rough. We're not going to move too fast here. Oh, fuck. We need to jump up there, don't we? God damn it. Forgot about that. Yes, Commander. He can't jump. He can. Here we go. <coughs> so he's going to jump up and just sit. He's going to jump up and just sit. <coughs> He's going to come down here. Ah, damn it. Coordinates received. He will brace, I guess. Roger. Bend to knee. Receiving you. He's going to take some hits from those turrets unless I can get these two guys out of here. <coughs> so that'll be 100 exactly if I hit with every one of them. Attacking from position. Beautiful. So one turret generator's out. <coughs> it wasn't those four, unfortunately. Or those generators. Oh, those are more generators. I'm here. Okay. Next jump. There. We're not going to use our LRMs and our ACs on these buildings. We're going to save those for the big mechs. So this will just be shooting the medium laser. <coughs> That will help ensure that that thing goes down with my panther next turn. Standing by. What can I do for you? Uh huh. Ten four. not use him yet. We're going to use our panther first. He's going to... Oh, he can't hit from there if he does that. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and go down here. I'm not going to PPC it. Or will I? Yeah, I probably will. Nah, I'm gonna hit with both of those. Keep my flame or my heat down and make sure I get two guaranteed hits. Cause that gets him down to 25, and then this guy can take him down with the others. He can get his medium laser hit off and. Unless he rolls a one. <coughs> Alright, so that's two turret generators down. <coughs> that 
That's nice. Now we're going to move her first. Don't need to move too far up. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go up to here because that's for us. But I can't see everything if I do that. There we go. We'll do that. I'm there. sure I'm at least in force and cover and out of the range of everybody else being able to see me. <coughs> Alright, so let's move let's actually move him first. Destroyed building. Reduces movement and spotting distance, but they provide cover. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot of fucking turrets that are going to hit me. We better brace. <laughs> we better get braced up and get prepared. Is that still? Oh, that's not forest. Damn. Those guys are forest. Shit. Should be pretty easy to take down. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he'll brace to take the hits from all the shots that are going to be coming. <coughs> yeah, we got vehicles that we're going to have to stomp on. No, this isn't the Centurion one. I wondered why you said that. This is where I get the ship afterwards. Good to go. <coughs> Don't really want to waste. That one's a little bit heavier. It's three AC2, four AC2s. Oof. Don't want to waste my stuff here. An AC 545 there. I could kill that. Or I could kill that, actually. This one. That one could hurt. Nah, it's just a large laser and two medium lasers. I want to take these four things out, but how much are they? It doesn't tell me. Damn it. <coughs> so that's 112, 119, and that would be 45, uh, 60, 80. 105, so I wouldn't be able to take him out. I don't really want to waste any of my ammo on any of that shit, but I'm going to take him out at least. So I need 74, so 45, or I could go 55, 65, or I could just hit with my LRMs, which would be 60, 70, 80. Man, I don't like doing that. He's not bulwark though, so he could take a little bit of hit. Neither one of them are bulwarked. The other one's braced. Now I'm just gonna brace. I'm gonna save my ammo. <coughs> Need to save my ammo for the freaking generators. And I need to get down and start stomping on these fucking vehicles. That one I don't really care that much about. Those are the guys I really want.
probably should have just gotten the cover. <clears throat> so I could hit him with 45, uh, 85, which would be enough to kill him. Or I can get him, which is just an A. He's already went, though, so I don't care about him. Or do I not waste any of my missiles here? Save them all for that here in a second. Um, I don't know what that car is. I think I just brace here again. <coughs> I'm going to take some hits here, but at least I'm braced on all of them. <coughs> Just a little bit there. I'm showing minor damage. All right, so then I can stay and just be bulwarked with everybody on this next one. Reporting minimal damage. I've been sent to locks. Oh shit. Alright, so first things first, he stays pat because he's bulwarked. So he's just going to shoot. We're going to shoot cars. He is AC5. He is large laser SRM4, SRM4. I like him better. And he's 90 on all of them. <coughs> yeah, let's just go after him everything. Roger. Oh, just missed getting him out with one round. Damn it, that would have been so nice. Alright, Scooter Girl needs to be bulwark too, but she can't be because she can't see nothing. Oh, damn it. Um... C2s, machine guns, large laser, medium laser, medium machine gun. Um, I want to get her in range to see some stuff here, but I'm going to brace down. Oh, I can't see him yet. Shit, that's why. I'm going to potentially take a lot of hits doing this, but if I can get in range here to where I can see them, then I can start shooting at them. But I'm not going to do it with her, actually. She's just going to brace. I'm going to do it with my other guy. So my other guy can take some hits. <coughs> <coughs> I wish he'd have been there last turn. I could have shot at him and stayed bulwarked. Right, so we want to move with him first. I'd like to get into there, but that's not covered. That's alright, we're going to do that anyway. Because <coughs> he's going to bulwark. I mean, I could take one round of hits with him. <coughs> potentially, but I've got a lot of mechs I'm going to have to fight earlier, later. So, <coughs> Right now we're just going to take the smaller amount of hits. 
Yeah, I know detox. <clears throat> I know now that she said it, I did forget that. <clears throat> now he needs to move. So he'll have to jump. Just get down here and cover where everybody, he can see everything. <coughs> he doesn't have to sit still for bulwark, but what do I hit now? I still can't hit those. Shit. Well, he's going to multi-shot. He's going to hit him for sure. <coughs> I need If I can hit that front armor with that medium laser, it would kill him. That would be huge. AC5 there. Can't hit him. He's large laser, SRM4, SRM4. <coughs> 95, 95. Okay, so I'm going to multi target and I'm going to hit him. <coughs> those and I'm going to take a chance that I can get lucky and hit him and kill him with just the medium laser. Nice. <coughs> All right, so there's one vehicle gone. Oh, I hit him on the side. Damn it. <coughs> Wish I had to put the LRMs on him now. So that wasn't terrible because I was braced. <coughs> Panther took a little bit, but nothing too bad. <coughs> <coughs> Panther taking some more there. <coughs> Yeah, I should have. <coughs> I just, I, I totally blanked on it until you said that. <coughs> Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. It's nice that missed. <coughs> All right, so he can stay bulwarked. Let's do that. Let's stay bulwark and just go after him. <coughs> we'll fire everything. Roger. Got him. Nice. <coughs> Good job, Commando. Receiving you. <coughs> All right. So he's already almost dead. He hasn't been hit yet. <coughs> Oh, that's LRM-10. We're definitely going to hit him. With everything. Nice. <coughs> so we don't have to worry about those LRMs anymore. One less vehicle. Can't get to... <coughs> Can't get to... Um... <coughs> cover, but I'll get the pip for evasion and the pip for jumping. And I can hit him with my LRMs <coughs> or my medium laser and take the chance on him again. Medium laser kills either one of those, so that's enough there. And then I can hit this guy with the other stuff. How much is that? A hundred. <coughs> Alright, so Let's hit him with the medium laser. That pretty much kills him. <coughs> as long as he hits one of those two, and he should. And then we'll hit him with 45, 85. <coughs> Engaging multiple targets. Yeah. I had to get one of the turret generators almost gone. I'll get him with my <coughs> volley from Glitch. Hey, So 
So Glitch will sit still and he'll multi-hit. He can hit him with the five LRMs and that will take him out. Yep. <clears throat> and then he can hit him with the AC5 and the medium laser, which should take him out. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, he won't take him out, but it'll hit him. <clears throat> Do I want to use the AC-5 is the question. Yes, I do. Because if I get a good solid hit on him <coughs> with the AC-5 and the medium laser in the same spot, it could kill him. And we hit him with the B. Yep. <coughs> no problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Oh, I hit him in the front, but not the other. I hit on top with the other one. That should get one of the turret generators out, which will get some of the turrets out. Oh, I'm... Okay, I got it. Shoot. Thought I missed it. <coughs> that takes that turret out. <coughs> so, so far, so good. <coughs> and that's not hard at all because I bulwarked few ACs there, but nothing terrible. <coughs> nothing, you hear me? Large laser misses, two mediums hit. So he's taking a little bit of hits, but nothing extremely terrible. Shadowhawk takes a few hits there, but nothing terrible. <coughs> not bad, not bad. We'll yes, take it. Commander. Um, he's not going to do anything yet. She can't do anything yet. She can move up. <coughs> Potentially going to take some hits here that could hurt. But I want to get this vehicle out so I don't have to worry about him. <coughs> and I am an invasive. I got an invasive, three evasive pips and cover. So let's see if I can get him out here. Oh, so close. <coughs> Damn it. Where is he at? Where the hell is he at? There he is. Oh, one hit point left. Kiss my ass. <coughs> so sick. So sick, man. <coughs> now I can hit with Exodus multi shot oh I gotta move in if I want to do that though don't I yep He's at 30. Shit. Uh, the other guy has... LRM5's 4, so that's 20. And he needs 30. Shit. Ain't that a bitch? Um, well, fuck. Why don't I just hit him and take him out? Oh, because that overheat me, that's why. <coughs> I 
<coughs> now I'm going to try with my LRM strike to take both of those out here. <coughs> so I can hit him with my medium laser, I think. Yep. Okay, so multi strike. Hit him with the medium laser. Hit him with the LRM fives, and then hit him with the LRM fifteens. He needs seventy five. That'd be sixty. <coughs> it won't kill him, but it'd get it damn close. You get a headshot. Oh, I didn't hit it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I hit it on top. Wow. Alright, so there goes another turret. <coughs> so this turret way out here is still alive, and this turret here is alive. How did I not freaking get him out? Oh, nice. He missed with the large laser. <coughs> Thank you, Evasion Pip. But I got another large laser coming in now. And he hit. Oof, and he hit my shoulder pretty good. I'm taking internal damage. Thankfully, he didn't crit it. <coughs> they went after that commando, too. He was the easiest one to hit. <coughs> Alright, so he should be good to take this guy out now. So he needs one. Yeah, so let's multi shot. Let's hit him with one, and hit him with one. <coughs> Alright, so that takes that turret out. <coughs> I'm receiving you. He sits still and takes him out. Don't need my SRMs. <coughs> Really, probably don't even need all that either. Let's keep our heat down a little bit. Actually, our heat's fine. Let's just do it. Make sure we kill him. There we go. <coughs> For a second there, I thought I didn't hit it. Crawler destroyed. <coughs> Alright, then Spider will move. And he'll medium laser that. <coughs> really don't want to AC-45 it because I know I'm going to need it for further stuff inside because I know mechs and stuff are going to be inside. That would be uh, 70, which I need 75 anyway, so. Engaging target. <coughs> what can I do for you? How much does it take to kill him? 45? Oh, it takes 50. Damn it. <coughs> gonna open myself up to a large laser hit here. That's probably who he's gonna hit too. But it gets me down to only needed one. Seventy forty five. Shit. <coughs> Got it. <coughs> oh, he still hit the commando anyway. Commando was well worked. Oof, and he hit my arm. Damn. I'm <coughs> here. <coughs> We'll shoot with him because because that gives us a chance to get everybody else deheated and lined up where I want to be in that door. <coughs> if I had jump jets on everybody, I'd just jump the wall, but I don't have jump jets on everybody, so...
sorry. Let's get these other guys lined up here where they should be. <coughs> Line these guys up behind. Location confirmed. Location, location, location. <coughs> Now we're ready to fire. Um, let's actually fire with our other guys first. Uh, he can fire with all of those. That's a hundred right there. Acknowledged. <coughs> Target down. <coughs> Man, they really did a good job with the graphics on this. You know? Did a great job with the graphics. Man, it's already 12 o'clock. Fuck me. Receiving you. Now, the problem is, it's been so long since I've done this, I don't remember where all the mechs come from. Directed personnel to action stations. God damn it, this is not a drill. Looks like you've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Of course he did. <coughs> yep, I already knew that was happening. Lady Arano is on her way. Oh, they just come out from in there, and there's a bunch of them. There is a bunch of them. And there's not really any cover here either. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. Standing by. I mean, I might as there's no cover at all here, so I might as well just stand pat and keep my bulwark on and just fire away here. <coughs> it's only 45 percent, but it does get a pip away from him, evasive pip. <coughs> so my other guys can potentially hit. <coughs> Sucks. We'll just get him in here for now. <coughs> he can bull work next turn. He'll brace down this turn. Yep. Bull works. What the deal's gonna be? Oh, there's a centurion. Oof. Ah, <coughs> uh, there's a treb there. Nah, I forgot about the treb. Yeah, it reduces movement, but it does give me evasive and keeps my heat down. All right, so I could go after him, which I'm not too worried about, and I could go after him, which I am worried about. This is why I saved all my LRM. <coughs> there as much as I could. And I missed the AC. Wow. And I missed the medium laser plus. Holy fuck, dude. I missed a 75 and a 70 right there. That hurts. Ugh. Yeah, I need to get jumped over and get his fucking ass. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> yeah, I know it is. He's just got to stay pat to keep bulwark steady. Okay, so we'll... Wait a minute, is he bulwarked? He's not. Is he? No, okay. <coughs> so we'll hit him with the medium, and we'll hit him with all the others. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. At least get another evasion pip off of him. Oh, and I hit his leg too. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Wow! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Wow! <laughs> Damn! 
That is so freaking huge right there. Wow. Holy crap, dude. Unfortunately, oh, he's got my arm down, though. What's in that arm? Nothing. Okay. Wow, dude. <laughs> that is nuts. That is nuts, man. Holy crap. All right, this is a, oh, a Jaeger. 60 or 65 on him. Um... I actually probably need to get in a little closer so I can get my mediums off too, but that means he's going to take hits if I do. Alright, so for one round, I'm just going to have to take the hits here. <clears throat> I need to get him in closer. Break yourself, fool. There you go. <laughs> I knew you'd get it. I mean, I could not shoot here and just brace down, but what fun is that? I've been bracing the whole freaking game. I want to get this 80% shot with the PPC. Oh, I thought I missed him. Or did I? Actually, I may have missed Oh, there goes a leg. That's nice. <clears throat> did I fucking miss him? I didn't fucking miss him, did I? No, I hit him. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so now he's got to move in now. To get the uh, called shot on him. I can get better than that, though, can I? There we go. <clears throat> Again, I'm opening both of those guys up to taking a hell of a barrage from the fucking Treb. But, no, I didn't miss, Swerve. He had damage done on him. He had damage on him. Oh, no, you're right. I, I He probably came with damage already gone on him, didn't he? Yeah. I think I did miss. I think you're right. It looked like I missed. But I did headshot that fucking Centurion right off the bat. That was so nice. Where's he at? 40. We're going to call shot this motherfucker right here. See if we can get that other leg out. Come on, baby. Get that leg out. Or the center torso. Oh, so close on the center torso. He's almost done, though. <clears throat> Jenner's almost toast. He's short for this round. Oh, he's dragging ass right now. Oh, it's so it's so sad to see a Jenner just barely limping along, not being able to move. Fuck, he just keeps pounding on Oh my god, his center torso is toast. I gotta get him the fuck out of there. Holy Christ, dude. Oh shit, and I can't... Fuck. Oh my god, this is not good, dude. Uh, how much did his center have? 48? got to do this and brace down, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get a, uh, potentially a full... Uh, what's the vigilance? Gain guard and entrance and remove all stability. Your next initiative is increased. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that all day long. And I got my back to him, so hopefully I don't take as much damage. Oh, and I can brace on top. Does that, that doesn't stack, does it? No, that doesn't stack. Yeah. So I might as well go ahead and hit with LRMs. Oh, it's him. <coughs> can't hit him with LRMs, I guess. I can't hit any LRMs unless I'm facing. I guess I have to brace. 
Okay. I didn't know you couldn't LRM if your back's to him. No. Oh. Whew. Oh, that's because he was hitting that back shot. Jesus. Oh, he was hitting the commando. Internal structure damage. <coughs> Come on, Arano, I need you in here, man. Where you at, girl? I hear ya. Right, he just stays pat. He's gonna go after him. Okay, so cold shot, medium laser on him. And hopefully he center torsos in, because that'd kill him. And then another headshot here on the Jaeger. Got it. Oh, I miss. Really? The fucking evasion pip, man. Oh, look at that leg shot. Damn. Fucking legging these guys, ain't I? This is gonna fucking hurt. Oh. Oh, he went after him. Shit. That did fucking hurt. Holy Christ. Commander, I'm hit. That definitely hurt. There she is. Get your ass in here, girl. <clears throat> she comes flying in in a little spider. <laughs> yes, let me get this motherfucker out of here. Fortunately, he can still hit me if I get here, right? Or he can move to get me. Yeah, so I can't do that. Wait, why the fuck? Oh, it's because I sprinted. Yeah. Yeah, let's sprint and get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> Save my mech and me from having to spend 500 days in the hospital. <coughs> oh. That was spook. Scary as fuck right there, man. Oh, shit. I gotta get her the fuck out of here now. She's one head hit from getting hit. From getting killed. Yes, Commander. Run, Commando, run. Get to safety. Run, Sarah. Run, scooter girl. Ride that scooter out of there. Out of here. Now this guy should be able to take some more hit. Oh yeah, he can take some hits. All right, so he's pretty much toast everywhere. 25, 25 would take either one of those out. So I'm gonna shoot both medium lasers at him, and then PPC this dude. <coughs> Okay, I was gonna say, I better have hit that fucking torso. Oh, nice. Left torso to his ass. Oh, and a Kintaro. Oh, the Kamea's in a Kintaro. Okay. Back shots. Hit the leg. <coughs> nah, fuck the Jenner. I wanted to get the PPC hit on him too, which I did. So now he's in the red. He's in the red. Well, hello, beautiful. Talquin. What's up, man? Waiting on you, Commander. Now we're going to do a full barrage here, and we're going to do it with precision. Wait, do I need? Oh, I'm already at 95%. I just wouldn't be able to call. I don't need to call. Just All fucking kill him. Oh, center torso. Oh, man. Fucking that dude up. Ammo explosion. Oh, and it killed him. <laughs> He's dead. Ammo explosion. <laughs> ah, kiss my ass. No, this is still the same pay, uh, playthrough, Talquin. And I'm doing one of the story missions right now, so I'm doing pretty good. Ready for 
Wow, this has went spectacularly well, dude. Headshot, one shot, headshot the Centurion. Ammo explosion his center torso and fucking demolish him. I mean, this, the Jaeger, this couldn't have went any better than this, man. <clears throat> All I got left is this Treb that's hiding in there. And he's got to come out now because he has nobody in line of sight to be able to shoot his missiles off at. I don't think he can see him, can he? No. I don't think he can see him from anywhere out here, actually. Don't need to tell me twice. Yeah, I probably will at that point. But I'll uh, I'll get rid of um. I'll I'll pull some stuff off of him, right? Because he's got a he's got a small laser plus on him, so I'll pull that off. <coughs> No, it, it's not pretty easy. Not by far. By I've been extremely fortunate in this All one. Right, but, ready to go. but at the same time, I also played very, very... Um, I played very um, defensive and passive at the beginning and braced down a lot to get through that first section to get into here so that I had good full mechs and full firepower for this. I'd love to be able to get those hit legs out and save this trip so I'm gonna call it shot and try to get his legs down <coughs> oh nice that's a good shot at starting <coughs> now let's hope she does the same don't core him Oh, hit the leg a couple times. Nice. What can I do for you? Nah, uh, he's moving. Get him knocked over. Didn't hit those legs at all. Critted his LRM, though. That's nice. <clears throat> now I can LRM with this guy. I want to knock him down so I can target those legs. Oh! LRM-15 destroyed, so that's one bank of LRMs that aren't hitting me. <coughs> He's running. You bitch. Yeah, you're just gonna stay there. Holding and cooling. That's old Sarah. Line of sight, baby. Yes. Oh, did he get in line of sight? He did. No, he didn't. But he's coming back out. Oh, shit. I would not expect him. Oh, okay. I thought he was coming out to uh, go off on my, uh, my um, dude here, my panther. Should be able to hit that leg now, right? Um, I can. And let's hit it with a precision strike. This should be good. There we go. <clears throat> no, don't kill the center torso, damn it. What are you doing? Yeah, critical hit. I want that leg gone.
center torsos. Yeah. So the problem is, if I call a shot here, it's going to be a missile barrage that could freaking hit anything. Even though I'm called shot in it. And that's going to be 40 damage. So I can't take him out, but I could do some more damage here, which would be big. Do I take that chance is the question. Yeah, let's take the chance. If I can hit that leg a few times, then my PPC might take it out. And I hit all freaking center torso, of course. <laughs> no, because I, I get Exodus first, right? And I was hoping that I could get a little bit down so that the PPC for Exodus could kill it. But I got the medium lasers too. If all three of them hit that leg, then uh, then I can get the leg out, and I can save myself potentially three treb parts. I think uh, I think I need three to build a treb. I think I've already got one. Oh, I sent a torso him. <laughs> Damn it! I guess I probably should. I moved the wrong way. I should have moved over here further, where I had more of a, an angle on the leg than the others. But oh well. <clears throat> that was that was really well done because I didn't lose any mechs. I'm gonna have them down sometime. Oh yeah, this is a big piece of the storyline. If you don't want. Um, Talquin, if you don't want to have the storyline ruined on you, you might want to tune away for a little bit. This is a big piece of the storyline here. Anybody else? Big spoiler alert here. You might tune away if you don't want to hear it or see it. <coughs> yeah, that headshot was ridiculously good. And it was with the AC, too. <coughs> One shot, bam. Sean Covet, alright. Alright, so... Better that you see for yourself and Kamea prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Alright, so we'll get that storyline here in a second. That was really, really a, a nicely done <coughs> mission for me. And look at that payout. Oh, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. <coughs> So we got two guys that are going to have to be repaired. Our Shadowhawk's not going to be too bad. This guy, we're probably just going to, we're going to take Detox's thoughts on it and just uh, scrap him anyway. Because <coughs> we're going to be running mediums now. <coughs> so we got three Centurions. We got one Treb. We're going to take the one Treb for sure. And then we're going to take all three Centurions. <coughs> so we're one away from making our Centurion. Unless, what else do we get? We get 12 more. Are there any pluses in here? Doesn't look like it. So it looks like that's what we're taking for sure. Yeah. If there would have been a really nice plus in there, we might have taken it. But <coughs> All right. So we'll get three Centurions and a Treb. Nice. Oh, shit, I grabbed the Jaeger. Oh, I got the Centurion anyway. Shoo. Well, that's nice. I got the Centurion and grabbed the Jaeger by accident. And I got a Jenner I don't really give a shit about. <coughs> so I got all three Centurions. Nice. All right. <coughs> That was nice. That was really, really, that was a good mission right there. Now I got to get these freaking mechs. Oh, I didn't get any new mechs yet, though. I still need a Centurion. <coughs> Part to get a Centurion. Be I nice to have a second Centurion, though. It was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was <coughs> here all this time.
Have a good one, Swerve. We'll catch you later, man. Poor Raju. He beat the hell, man. His face is all forked up. <coughs> so big piece of the storyline there. Raju was actually alive, but he's not anymore. <coughs> Kamei, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me, and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. A hero's story shouldn't end like this. Nobody should. <coughs> and yet so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. <coughs> and what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are ready are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinoza's popularity there. Galvanize your supporters. I like the sound of that. <coughs> it won't be an easy process. For the last three years, those who love House Serrano have been keeping their heads down. We won't break them of that overnight. In truth, an appreciable percentage of Coromadir's population supports Director at Espinoza. In centralizing power, he improved the quality of life on the throne world considerably and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort <coughs> with our victory on Weldry we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought, bought or indoctrinated those who refused to kneel before a triant, we, tyrant we know what became of the people who were made to disappear and soon enough the entire reach will know it too the momentum is on our side Kamea we need to take advantage of it <clears throat> you're right this isn't the time for hand wringing but Alexander you didn't see what I saw out there on the other end of the battlefield the work crews all hunched and broken the graveyards great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see every time I blink I see it the misery that was allowed to fester here we're going to do some background here I was one bad Solaris fight army away from bankruptcy before Mastiff reached out to me. I could easily have wound up in a place like this. <clears throat> yes, but that was the inner sphere. Sphere. Before my uncle's coup, the Reach didn't have places like this. This prison is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to spare them that of that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is you do something and move on. Thank you, Chief Veritanen. And you have a good crew, Spider. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be spaceworthy. <coughs> for decades, the wreck of the site... The wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Urano cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, Spider, I have decided that she will be yours to command. Woo woo! The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison, and in return you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. Sounds good to me, Lady Rano. We'll transfer to Argo directly. Guess I've got a new ship. Here's hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> <coughs> if that's settled, then please, Kamea, go back to the triage tent and get your wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of some exotic infection. Our people contend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. <coughs> people of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa.
Spinoza has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning. While the directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. <coughs> Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. <coughs> Yay. Dr. Farah Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of Yargo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a good chance or a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farah Murad. Or just Fair, if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Shut up, woman. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Yargo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would have never you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down and with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship this ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear. Respectfully, Dr. Murad, I could care less how clean the ship is. I lost a friend today. Thanks, Fair. I'm sure that we all appreciate it. Clean is good. Space worthy is better. Are you sure the Argo is ready for action? That's what we want. <coughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, she's here, isn't she? All the way from Learton. With nary a decompression event in sight. Don't worry, Commander. I wouldn't endanger my new crewmates by putting them on an unsafe ship. I've got professional standards to maintain. New crewmates? Do you know something we don't? Did a Lady Arano not say? I'm coming with you. You'll need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but, you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back at Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings. None at all. Keep this beast flying, and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliviera. Over the years of our exile, Lady Rano has told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Fjolder, 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 Fjolder campaign did not go unnoticed. <coughs> it was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamadi paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. You'll be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, Lord Madeira. Being remembered is the best that any mercenary can hope for. That is all very heartwarming, but I want to see my new ship. Yeah, let's skip the rest of the story. I'm ready to go. Of course, Commander Chin. Quite right. You remember Lady Rano's orders. While you wait for her call, you are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. 
I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over Ning. The whole Rimward periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited to by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. You're telling me we've been cooped up in that little patch of frontier for too damned long. We'd better get put that freedom to good use. It won't be long before Lady Rano comes calling. How about it, Yang? You excited? Let's go with the middle one. <coughs> no, it won't. So let's quit talking and go explore our new ship. There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and it's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Rano calls for us, and there's money to be made. The Argo is not in good shape, Commander. But with time, money, and some Chief Virtanen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. <coughs> Lady Rano said she wanted us to get stronger with these mech facilities. We finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from missions and shops, and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. <coughs> Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my people back to the beginning. Lo. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the brave may live.